fate. Okay, well, it's getting cold out there. Over in Wilkes-Barre, 16, feels like 4, because we still have a little bit of a wind out there, so just please be careful. Again, check on your elderly neighbors. Check on those pets. 13, currently over in Dallas. Here's a picture of Mona Hess, Wap Wallopin. Sent this in. This was the snowstorm we had last week. What a beautiful shot that is. The red barn and you got the gray skies, the white snow. Gorgeous shot. Thank you so much for sending that picture in, Mona. Right now, 21 over there in Williamsport, 23 in Sealings Grove, 22 Pottsville, 11. Wow. Over there in Mount Pocono, Hazleton, you're currently at 18 degrees. Now, up there at Evoke Airport today, we had a high of 23, a low of 13. The average splits are 47 and 32. We're not getting anywhere near that. We didn't even reach the uh, average low temperature for a high. 72 was a record high, set back in 1931. 15, the record low, and I think we're going to shatter that one tonight. And I'm going to show you just how cold it's going to get in just a few minutes. Now, we do have a little bit of cloudiness, you know, just in and out clouds. It's going to be mostly clear as we go through the nighttime hours. That's due to high pressure. But that high pressure is going to start to slide down to the south and east. And as it does, we'll start to get into a southwesterly flow. So the, the brutal temperatures will go. We'll be in, well, I think for tomorrow for shopping, we'll be in the low 30s and mostly sunny skies. Not bad at all. But then Saturday, the wheels fall off. We're going to see the clouds increase. We have a chance to shower. Showers by later in the day in the afternoon, and some of the rain overnight could be heavy at times. Once that pushes through, Sunday looking pretty good. We start to clear out, a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures back up in the mid 40s, and then Monday we have another system coming through, and that's going to give us some rain. Some of that rain could be heavy at times, and we could see a little bit of wraparound snow at the end of that storm. But for tonight, mostly clear, bitterly cold. We're going to be looking at lows getting down into the single digits throughout the area. Please be careful if you're out there driving tonight. Now for tomorrow, for the big shopping day, Black Friday, we're going to be looking at plenty of sunshine, not as cold. It's a good day for shopping because temperatures will be in the low 30s. Let's go take a look now. What's going to happen Saturday, Sunday, the weekend? Rain on Saturday, 44 for a high. And then Sunday, we're looking at partly sunny skies, high of 44. Another round of rain, ending with some snow showers. Monday afternoon, 44 for a high. Tuesday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, 38. Scattered snow showers on Wednesday. We're back in the mid 30s, though, Candace. And then Thursday, we're looking at 38 for a high with partly sunny skies. And don't forget, Download that weather app. You're going to be able to follow the storms whenever they come about. And they're going to come about this year. Mother Nature is going to do that to us. <laughs> She's already done it to us, Man, I think. That was just a warning shot. Yeah, it was a preview of what's to come, I That's think. That's right. You having a good Thanksgiving? Yeah, it's not, it hasn't been bad. I, I don't mind spending it in here. You know? Yeah, we're with our TV family, I That's guess. Right. That's I was right. Able, we have some in-laws or some uh, relatives of mine from Long Island who are coming in. And uh -huh. uh, got to visit with them for a little bit today before I came into work. So it was nice. Oh, nice. A little brief family visit. and At least that snow we had last Thursday wasn't today. Oh, could can you, you know, imagine? That would have been a mess. So yeah. we've got the sunshine, maybe not the temperatures <laughs> to go along with it, but... Well, one, one step at a time. Yeah. Okay. You'd be thankful for what you got.